few hours after my surgery. I can talk but not loud. And now I'm having dinner. Jelly. Soup. Juice and yogurt. I'm not on pain at the moment. They give me strong medications. just check my vitals she gave me medication for pain and for my calcium replacement which is this one calcium replacement I'm going to take Panadol first Day two after lunch. I just had my lunch. I feel better today. I just had salad and ice cream. I'm waiting for Vicente and my baby boy. Those are the work coming visit me. Magdadala ng aros caldo. I'm still waiting for the doctor to change my dressing and to remove this train I can see that it's bruising it's bruising it's good the doctor came and I'm going home now it's three days post operation and this is how it looks like at the moment. I haven't had a shower, but that looks good. It feels itchy around here. Feels itchy, but other than that, it's okay. I'll have my shower soon. 
Good morning guys, it's fourth day from my surgery and that's my son, I'm home and the dressing look like that Hello! There's a little bit of blood in there oh, I can no. manage to look side by side now which is good Good and boy, huh? Good girl and it's a bit itchy. I want to scratch it, but at the same time, it Hello, is. Good morning, guys. At the same time, it is um, like morning, there's guys. a little bit of pain good still, morning. but it's itchy, you know. Good morning, I guys. took Panadol. Panadol? I hate Panadol. Mom, I hate Panadol. Mom. I took Panadol, so I feel better. I just excuse the pad in the bench. <laughs> See me, mommy. He put it there. See me, um, mommy. My voice is a little bit better. Still, I don't know. I can still manage to talk loudly, but it is better from the few hours I woke up good morning, guys. from my surgery good morning guys I say good morning and that's how it looks like hello mom it's bruising yes there's a little bit of blood it's itching but it's okay kiss here good job okay I'll see you tomorrow guys see you tomorrow guys guys it's five days post operation and that is how it looks like i shouldn't wear the shirt i should wear the button down pj but it's okay it's not painful at least as it was it's kind of bruising can you see that it's like bruising but it's not painful when you touch <clears throat> five days since i had my surgery my voice is getting better I should say I can talk now but it's not loud like I used to do because I talk loudly very very loud like I'm yelling when I'm talking but now as you can see it's slowly coming back I, I will give it a little bit more time to recover it's today fifth day uh, in two weeks time the doctor will see me he will send me letter an appointment because he's going to review my incision I think it's three inches long on my second day I didn't update I think I didn't because I was down I feeling so down and I cried I was really frustrated because it's very hard to move I have severe headaches and you know back you know, not back in here it's very very sore and it's frustrating because even if you are taking medication pain relief for it it's still there it won't help you so I uh, I cried I was so frustrated but on my third day, I was feeling be better. And now it's my five days. I will update you, I think, after I went to the hospital. I don't like touching that because the nurse said, leave it, we'll leave the dressing until it will come off by itself. Uh, but they give me extra dressing to put on just in case it will come off but since it's still there and it's intact and it looks clean i am not going to do anything okay i am going to see you in 
one week time. The only thing I am worried about um, about my eyes because I know when you have Graves disease it will affect or damage the tissue behind your eyes and that's what happened to my eyes especially on my left one if you notice I have that's not the real eye bags guys I have proper sleep especially now that I had my surgery I'm having a good sleep and I, that's impossible that eye bags are still there and look at my eyelids still swollen and my left eye is still popping out I am not happy with it I know that some of the doctors no, some of my friends or I read article that um, if the tissue behind your eyes um, got damaged because of your Graves disease it won't go back to normal even if you have surgery so that makes me sad <coughs> that's the sad part there but my friends told me it, it, they can't even notice it but I do I notice it every single day and that makes me so um, sad but I am getting there hopefully I'm still hoping that in the right time <coughs> it will go back to what it was my fifth day as I've said my fifth day today my third my second day or yeah my second day at home was very depressing for me because yeah as what I've said I suffered bad headache even if I took the tablets already and by the way I suffered constipation yeah that's one of the side effects of having a surgery they said it is normal I tried many many you know natural remedy on how to relieve the constipation i tried psyllium husk which i eat porridge i ate um what else pear juice and popo i tried those but did it work so i tried to buy over-the-counter laxative i took two tablets that night and then I had diarrhea that's the sad part there I shouldn't take the laxative I should take stool safana if you are experiencing the same thing don't go for a laxative go for stool safana because that will make you feel better guys it is now um, third week post surgery and look at that look at my scar this is still the thread and I'm my skin is breaking out I don't know what to do with it but I'm not worried about that as I've said today is my third week post surgery and that is how my scar look like on third week by the way I took the strips off myself I did not receive any letter from the hospital I don't know if they're going to see me or they will contact me but I took it anyway because I have a severe reaction so very itchy and sore around here my incision it's very itchy and it gets really really bad that's why I decided to take it off myself and that's how my scar looks like uh, I went to my endocrinologist and he said I am NOT going back there anymore since I don't have my thyroid anymore all I have to do is to go to my GP so I will go to my GP every once a year and since he's happy 
with the outcome and he is happy with my blood test it was normal he advised me to see my gp every year so next month i'm going to see my gp and i will tell him that i'm not happy with my eyes i am not especially this eye so yeah that's the update with my third week thank you guys